Hello and welcome back to the Beer Dog Reviews. I've got a brew dog beer for you today and it's a can of their Mr. President Defiant Double IPA. I have reviewed, no, I haven't reviewed, I have tried this before but from a bottle. So I saw it in a can. I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. It comes in at 9.2%, so definitely not a session beer. And it does say down the can there, Bulletproof Double IPA. Now, as always with Brewdog, I'm not expecting any real info on the can. So, no indication as to the hot variety or anything like that. But, let's have a look. We've got standard Brewdog style artwork in a sort of a maroon colour. That's about it, really. You never get a lot, do you, on a Brewdog can? Obviously, not one of my favourite breweries, particularly at the moment, but we'll give it a little go anyway, shall we? I'm still on a 9.2% beer. I'm not expecting a massive head. Well, that is giving quite a bit more head than I thought it would. So you've actually got almost a chestnut coloured beer with mild carbonation and just a finger there, just over a finger of very slightly off white but light and fluffy head. Good carbonation, you can hear it in my glass, you can't really see it because it's quite hazy. There's the beer, the chestnutty, almost red touches of amber there. Hmm. Let's have a look. It smells herbal, piney, very hoppy. You're not getting any floral notes, so it's definitely going to be on the more bitter side of that herbal piney style, isn't it? Not really a lot of fruity notes in there. Maybe a tiny touch of citrus. Hmm. Let's have a look. Oh, that is definitely bitter. That's got a nice bitterness to it. It's not an overpowering bitterness. And you're getting the malt come through. The malt sits right in the middle of the palate there. It's a good bready malt. There's a tiny, tiny touch of sweetness on the front of the palate. There's not much there. That soon gives way to the malt. And then it's almost sledgehammer of bitterness. Definite pine. There's an undercurrent there of herbal character. Very slight grassiness. But mostly, it's a strong piney bitterness. Reminiscent of, sort of halfway between a good old world bitter and a west coast IPA. You're definitely getting the ABV level. That's a big hitter. And, dare I say it, for a brew dog beer, it's really enjoyable. It's a nice, a relaxing beer. Perfect for this time of year as well. I want those big bold flavours when we get into the autumn and winter months. Hmm. 
surprisingly good. It has got an essence of a, a traditional red ale about it, but with that really strong piney character. I'm actually quite shocked that I'm enjoying it as much as I am. When I compare it to how it was when I tried it originally from the bottle, I think it actually it's much better coming from the can. Don't know what it is. Just hold the flavour a bit more. Hmm. Well, it's a shock to me. I'm certainly going to enjoy it. Cheers to you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll put the links for my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram right down there in the description box. I'll see you all again next time. Happy drinking.